According to the Ayurvedic science, there are three doshas, three, you can say, tendencies of how the energy moves. So they are sattva, rajas, and tamas. Sattva is the balance. Rajas is stimulation, up. Wait. Tamas is uh, going down. A little bit kind of dying. Rajas is growing and Tamas is dissolving. And sort of um, mm, mm, mm. being sick, for example, having to lie down in order to recuperate. So, the sattvic food is the food that keeps us balanced. It doesn't really uh, stimulate us, like coffee, for example, nor does it make us feel heavy and sleepy, like, for example, uh, heavy foods or uh, fatty foods that are hard to digest. After eating sattvic food, you feel content and blissful. It is easy to digest. Rajasic food is also called food for the royals. It is high in calories. It is more oily, but it makes you do stuff, right? It stimulates you. It makes you very energized, right? It has this spike like sugar. Tamasic food is the heavy food. The food that uh, keeps you calm, it's hard to digest. They say it takes you to ignorance. You feel sleepy after it. What determines if the food is sattvic or not basically doesn't only mean on the kind of food. So you can say a banana, right? It, it doesn't have to be sattvic uh, always. It depends on how many bananas you eat. Uh, it depends on whether this banana is fresh, whether it's still green or whether it's already kind of overripe and mushy. And um, almost, you know, like moldy. Uh, when it comes to cooking, if you cook with fresh ingredients, this might be sattvic food. But if you're in a bad mood, if you cook quickly, if you don't put your joy in the food, the food is not going to be sattvic. Then, who do you eat your food with? If you eat among people who are in a bad mood, um, they're, they're a little bit grumpy, always rushing to eat quickly and not caring about who they are sharing the food with. This also doesn't make the food sattvic. Of course, there's this uh, rule that you should eat in silence and chew at least 30 times and then you're gonna have the sattvic effect of the food. Sattva, Rajas and Tamas don't only apply to food, they apply to anything we do in our lives. Anything can be balancing, uplifting or makes you down. So just think about it as the effect that something has on you. So it can be people, it can be animals, it can be your environment, it can be things, it can be what you are doing, your activities can be sattvic, rajasic and tamasic. So it's a little bit of a philosophy as well, not just the food and uh, what you are eating.